Hello, our dear football lovers. As you all know, on February 24th, Russia attacked Ukraine and unleashed a war at the very center of Europe. The events took a truly terrifying turn. Ukrainians were forced to defend themselves against an aggressor who is superior in numbers, and even if the bothers, past and present, decided on taking up arms. In today's video, we would like to tell you about their outstanding heroism. Now, without further ado, let's start things off. First one, we have Alexander Aliyev. This guy was once notable in the world in European football pitches. He was doing great as part of the Ukrainian national youth team. Then he established himself, becoming the star of Dynamo Kiev and the Ukrainian national first team, moving to Lokomotiv Moscow and Dagestan Anji afterwards. As for now, he defends the capital of Ukraine, the city of Kiev, with weapons in his hands. He signed up for the local territorial defense forces and performs a number of tasks, from guarding certain areas to combat missions aimed to search for Russian occupants. The former footballer has already admitted that bullets had flown over his head, but not only was he not afraid of them, but said to continue the work he had begun, until the victory over the Russian army. Even before the conflict escalated, the star Ukrainian ex-performer demonstrated his readiness to defend the home. On February 18th, Aliyev posted a daring post on Instagram page. Quote, Stay. Be proud. Defend. Interestingly enough, Alexander was born in Russia, in the city of Khabarovsk. For him, the word has acquired personal meanings, since even his parents, who live in Russia, consider him a traitor and a Nazi. I will not deceive anyone and be honest. At first, I talked with my parents, but now we don't communicate at all. They watch television in Russia and see something completely different. That we have fascists, Nazis, looting. Yes, there is looting, but we are trying to fight it here. Things they told me. At first, I tried to explain to them what was going on with us. I see it with my own eyes. There were times I really was caught under bullets, but was not afraid and went on to defend our Ukraine. I want my children to live here in peace. I don't want to see tears in the eyes of my children, only a smile on all the faces of our compatriots. My parents don't believe me, and that's what I find most insulting. I'm not going to prove anything. I post on Instagram not for PR, as anyone might think. I have taken an assault rifle, Aliyev stated in an interview. What a great guy Alexander is, don't you agree? Though not only Aliyev demonstrated the Cossack spirit in such tough times for his country. Next up, we are going to dwell on another hero. Yuri Vernadup is another football hero for Ukraine and the whole world. The coach of the Tiraspol Sheriff, the club that beat Real Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu last fall. Did you know that Verne Dup once represented Zenit from St. Petersburg in the period from 1997 to 2000? The connection with Russia in no way broke the desire of the 56-year-old manager to return to his homeland from Moldova and join the armed forces of Ukraine. My son called me at 4.30 am and he told me, the Russians attacked us. I knew then that I would return to Ukraine to fight spent 11 hours, but still managed to get to Zaporizhia. My wife, children, and grandchildren tried to dissuade me. I thank my wife for supporting me, she knows my character. We could have gone to Moldova, and this option is still open for my children, for their wives, for my grandchildren. But me and my wife, we are staying here for sure. I signed up for the army, I can't tell where I serve and what I do. This tragedy united the whole country. Of course, I still love football, that's my life. I hope we win and I get back to my beloved work. I was supported by the club. Vernadup shared in an interview with the BBC. Manchester City and the Ukraine national team versatile talent Alexander Zinchenko very painfully experiences the tragic events that are still unfolding in his native country. He found out about the war when his wife, Vlada, woke him up. At midnight UK time, my wife woke me up and she was crying. I was in shock. She showed me the videos, the pictures, what's going on now in Ukraine. My feelings? 
maybe the closest feeling is when someone from your circle is dying. You know, this feeling like you feel so bad inside. But this is even much more worse. Zinchenko admitted that he could cry at any moment because of the tragic events in Ukraine. I'm just crying, so it has already been a week. I'm not counting, but even I can drive the car from the training ground, or it doesn't matter where, I can just cry from nothing. It's just everything in my head. Imagine the place where you were born, where you were growing up, and there's just empty ground. The Manchester City footballer also said that he would immediately go to the front if he did not have a family. I'll be honest, if not for my daughter, my family, I would be there. I was just born like that. I know the people, the mentality of my people from my country, and they all think the same way. I'm so proud to be Ukrainian, and I will be forever, for the rest of my life. And when you're watching the people, how they fight for their lives, there are no words. I know the people, the mentality of my people from my country. They prefer to die, and they will die, but they are not going to give up. Among other matters, Zinchenko doesn't understand why the players of the Russian national team have chosen the tactic of silence and are not helping to end this bloodshed. I was surprised that none of the Russian players said anything. Most of them play in the national team and they have a lot of followers. They can at least do something to stop this war. Because the people can hear them. I already know that they are scared. But they are scared of what? They are not gonna do anything with them. At least they can say their positions, but they don't. They just ignore it. We recall that Zinchenko also had a Russian trace in his biography, performing for UFA FC back in the 2015-16 campaign. One of the brightest stars of the Ukrainian national team in recent years, Yevhen Konoplanka, known in European football for his performances in Sevilla, is also ready to take up arms. Although clearly understands he will not be able to help his country in any significant way. I couldn't believe in my life that this day would come. These are our people, children, our cities. I don't know when it will stop. If I knew how to fight, to hold a weapon, I would run there. Everyone helps in the best way they can, Konoplanka said. The Ukrainians heroically repulsed the full-scale invasion of the Russian army. The nation is suffering great human losses. Not only military soldiers, but also civilians are dying, among whom, unfortunately, there are children. It is already known about two football losses. In Kyiv, the representative of the amateur FC Gostomel, Dmitry Martinenko, died, along with his mother. A Russian shell hit their house. What's more, during the battles near Kyiv, a pupil of the Karpati Lviv Academy, Vitaly Sapilo, died too. According to media reports, he was a tank commander. Blessed memory for the heroes of Ukraine. Friends, let's support Ukraine together in this difficult period for the country. With this video, we wanted to draw your attention to the war which takes place in the very center of Europe and show how heroic the people of Ukraine are. Even footballers and coaches join the armed forces in the name of peace on this planet. The Inside Football Channel was with you. We watch football from a different angle. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.